Hey, welcome. I hope you've had a wonderful Christmas and a very, very happy new year to you all. So I'm on holidays at the moment and I hope you are having a restful break if you've got time off. So for the next few weeks, I would love to talk to you just about goal setting. It's perfect. It's the start of the year. Time to us, for us to reflect and set up the new year. So let's start with what's a goal? Well, it's a result that you plan to achieve within a specific time frame. And there's a process behind it. First off, it's important to actually decide what your goal is. And the second step is plan how you're going to make it happen. Then, of course, we've got to work towards it. It doesn't just magically happen once we wish for it. And then we've got to keep monitoring and evaluate how we're going and are we on track to achieving our goal. If we are, fantastic. If we're not, what do we have to do to tweak and change it so that it can happen? We don't always get the steps right first time and that's okay. So what are some areas to set a goal in? Well, of course, there's finance for this year. How are you going to set yourself up? What do you want to achieve there? What about your own health and fitness, which can be one category or two separate categories, of course. And then your career. Are you happy at work? You can stay in the same job, but put plans in place if you want to move forward or think about getting a new job, starting a business, whatever that involves for you. And then, of course, your relationships. These can be with your significant partner, with your family, with your friends. And they're all quite individual categories. Work out what you want to do there. What about how you're going to contribute to the community or contribute in general? Because contribution is one of our six core needs. So when we're ticking those boxes, we are a happy, healthier version of ourselves. And then what about you? Are you going to take time out and do some specific things for you? Or are you going to work on some personal development? Now they're just a few tips and strategies to get you started and get you thinking. For those of you who are watching this thinking, but you know, the new year's already started. That's okay. You can perhaps be like my sister-in-law. She never starts her new year goals until February. Because in January, she's busy relaxing. What I'd love to do is just raise your awareness and get you thinking about goal setting and how to set up this year to be a great, fantastic year for you. Because when it's a great, fantastic year for you, there's a ripple effect for everyone around you. If you'd like more information, please feel free to go to my website, www.lifestylerefocus.com.au. Wishing you a wonderful, healthy, happy week. Take care.